Hello there everyone, it's Joe here and welcome back to OMSI 2 add-on London. You find us here at Oldwich, about to drive the Route 59 down towards Streatham. Not Streatham Bus Station, I think it's, uh, is it Telford Avenue? Do we, uh, uh, Streatham Hill, Telford Avenue. Uh, for some reason it doesn't go to, uh, to Streatham Bus Station. Goodness only knows why. Uh, it's possibly because Arriva haven't paid the bill and they don't get access to the bus station. Who knows? Um, before we do dive right into things, uh, I feel that now's a good time to mention that you should subscribe. You know, what you're about to witness here is pure genius. It's, it's me driving a bus in London. Uh, but do make sure that if you like the video, that you click that like button, subscribe so you never miss out. And of course, it's nearly Christmas time. In the description you will find a link to a PayPal account. It's not a scam, that is my PayPal account. If you feel, do you know what? I'm going to give this guy a present for Christmas. Please feel free, that's where you can do so. Even if you think, well, you know, a pound. Do you know what guys? A quid. I'd be happy with that. Anything. I'd, I'd be happy with a pence. I'd be like, yeah, that, that, that's a bit cheap. But you know, like I say, anything I'd be very much grateful for. It helps me fund DLC and then I can bring games to you through videos. Ta-da! There. Everyone's happy. Uh, especially me. But there we go. Right, so, uh, Boris Master, new bus for London. Appears to be causing terrible congestion, uh, even the fact that we are parked in the bus stand, but this Prius is having none of it. He's like, no, I can't possibly go past. God knows why. We're sporting this wonderful YouTube livery, uh, which, pff, I mean, I, I don't see me on there. Can only assume that I was busy when uh, when this advert was, it's probably, they, they probably just didn't want to ask. They were too worried that I'd say, you know what, I, I'm just better than a, a YouTube advert on a bus. That, that's what I'm going to tell myself anyway. Not that I'm just not special enough. Oh, God, it's like a bloody pantomime, isn't it? Right, yes, 59, we're off to Streatham. Let me just check. Yeah, the steering wheel's plugged in. That's always good. I've turned the electrics on so we can pop the lights on. Ooh, what's that in front? That's, that's not... Oh, it's that bumble. I'm not a lover of that. Pfft, nah. Nah, 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 nah. I'm a big lover uh, of equality. Let's, uh, yeah, before before we drive, let's look at this. There you go, Bumble. It doesn't say it, but there used to be a, a, a poster in Manchester where it was like, oh, yeah, that's, uh, yeah, it's the dating app where women get the say over everything. And it's like, well, hang on, that that's not equality. That's just the opposite of equality. The app where men have nothing. Like, yeah, great. I'm not sexist. I'm not racist. I'm a big believer in equality. But but that's not equality, is it? That's uh, one group of people get more of the other. Anyway, let's just, just, you know, you're here to watch me drive a bus, and driving a bus is what is about to happen. Let's make sure that we have got all our lighting on. Yes, we... That's uh, that, that's a bit odd. Where's, where's the lights? The lights are on. You can see the lights are on from, from there, but where are the lights? Is that not them? Ooh, they're not lighting up, that's a bit weird. Yeah, well, never mind. Right. Uh, we have got our timetable. We'd better start the destination spinning, because it always takes forever. There we go, 59, and we're off to Telford Avenue. That's the one. Is that what it says on the Streatham Hill? Telford Avenue. Uh, does Is there an option for Streatham Hill? Nope, Telford Avenue it is. Are you spinning? Are you spinning? Go on, you know you wanna. Uh, do you know what? I'm gonna move this bus down uh, on the basis of we are causing absolute chaos. And if you're wondering why you can't hear the engine, this is of course a hybrid. There we go. Right, we'll, we'll pull in right to the side. Can you, uh, yeah, you can get past that. And um, we're going to have to do the old typing in the uh, the number, because it doesn't seem to... Uh, Stratton Hill. There we go. Way! Just like that, it's appeared on the screen. 
I mean, that's going to scroll around for a bit, isn't it? They don't seem to be in any order. I'm sure there's a logical order to this. But they... Ooh, I like the Omsi 2 thing. Yeah, they, I know they're probably in an order of some sort, but they don't seem to be. Scrolling, scrolling, scrolling. Oh, oh no, it's off. What, what? You, you were on the correct one. Where are you going? Well, I'm not entirely sure what's happening there, to be honest with you. Why are you not? There we go. Stretton Hill. Stick on that. How do we, uh... Have I missed something? I, I feel like I've missed something here, but I have, you know, clicked the... There. Telford Avenue. Hmm. Yeah, I'm not sure about that. I'm, uh, I'm, I'm not going to lie to you. Something's amiss. There's been some sort of updates. It used to work. Right, well, I'll tell you what. We'll, we'll pull up to the bus stop. Uh, just across all these people. I should probably have... Uh, there we go. Right, we'll, we'll pull up to the bus stop. And take it from there. Are you getting on? Oh, you actually are getting on. Why are you getting on when I've not set the destination? That that's a bit odd. Hmm. Well, they're on. I mean, we we saw on the first video I've had on London that I did in the Enviro Two Hundred that until the destination was in the correct place, they flatly refused to get on the bus. But now. I mean, it's still going, and they're, they're just happy. They're, well, we uh, we trust it. It's, it's probably uh, you know, it's probably that guy. He must have a very trustworthy face. I'm still not convinced by that, but hey, you know what? They uh, the passengers trust it, and if the passengers have got on, that means I can successfully drive this route. Oh, oh no, it's a bit of lag. I thought they'd uh, thought they'd stop there. Thought they'd found a place they liked. Yeah. So anyway, a bit of background about the Route 59. It's operated by a reaver. It runs up to every five minutes, and the uh, according to the manual, yeah, you heard me there. According to the manual, uh, it utilises the Boris Master, the new bus for London, which is why we are on that today. Yeah, it really doesn't like it, does it? It's just scrolling back to blank every time. I don't know why it wants to do that. I mean, we've used the Mobitech before. We have used the Mobitech before. We know how to work it. Maybe this is a bug that we have discovered in the new Route Master. Well, do you know what? Today is new Route Master Day. I'm slowly cycling through the different buses that are available for us on London, and uh, we've circled back round to the new route master. So whether it's bugged or not, we are driving this uh, this bad boy. I've also noticed: did it always have the right logo in the steering wheel? I didn't think it did. Maybe it did. I mean, yeah. Maybe I've downloaded a patch. Maybe that patch is what's broken the bus. I don't know. Right. Door shut. Off we go. We've got the lights on, haven't we? Yeah, we have. There we go. The uh, the standard transport for London uniform. There, everyone wears a, uh, a fluorescent yellow sports top. Yeah, it's going to really bother me that that destination screen's not working. But uh, we'll, we'll just blame everyone else but myself for that. Gah, yeah, yeah, everyone else. 
Shocking. Aldrich, watch out for traffic when leaving the Well, she seems to be working. Oh, go oh God. I thought with it being dark, we might skip all this lag. Oh, he's leaving, so we won't uh, we won't go for some sort of risky overtake manoeuvre. Hello, everybody. Oh God, here we go. Low temperature in the bus. Good evening, driver. Nope. Nope. Click, click, click. Nothing. Well, we tried. Can't change the temperature. Sorry, guys. I'm not really that fussed, to be honest with you. I mean, low temperature in the bus. It's December. What more do they want? You know, there you go. Monday, 21st of December. Of course, when you're watching this, it's probably not. Given that it won't go out until Wednesday, the 23rd. Uh, but, yeah. It's still December at time of filming, so you should have a coat on. Whoa, what the... I love that daft horn. That's the daft VDL horn. Waterloo Can quite easily be utilised at any time of day in any location. Nope. I think those lights are for me. We're going to stop there anyway. Of course they are. There's no lights here for me, so these must be for me. One thing that I do especially like about the uh, the, the new Rootmaster is, uh, and I'll be able to demonstrate this on the bridge, because we can go quite fast on the bridge, is that it's got regenerative braking. Now, I've never seen that before on OMSI. There's probably buses out there, but I've never seen it. This is the first bus I've experienced it in. So basically, when you take your foot off the accelerator, so now you see that there's nothing, no lights lit up. Take your foot off the accelerator, and this little green R appears. So I've not got my foot on the foot brake, but you'll see we're not coasting, we are braking. Now a lot of electric cars have this. My friend's just gone out and bought an electric Golf. God knows why, but he, you know, felt the need to buy an electric Golf. I personally like a petrol engine. When he drove off my drive the other day, I mean, when he definitely didn't drive off my drive the other day because of COVID-19, he certainly wasn't around visiting, because that would be illegal. Uh, you know, it's just weird not hearing an engine start up. But again, I, I wouldn't know, because he wasn't here. Because he's not allowed. There you go. Is anyone getting on? Nope. Nobody. Oh, she probably wanted it. Well, she should have worn some brighter clothing, shouldn't she? So we could have... Uh, We'd have seen her if she'd have had a high vis jacket on. Waterloo Station, Waterloo Road. There we go. So, I, so I'm not actually braking at this point. I am braking now. But now I'm not, and it's still slowing down. See, that's just brilliant. I like that. And uh, let's face it, the majority of us wouldn't have noticed if they hadn't have put that in. I wouldn't have noticed. I didn't even know that the, the uh, new route master did that. So I certainly wouldn't have noticed if they'd have left it out, but I think it's brilliant that they've put it in. I don't know why there's this kind of irritating chime of bells. There is no church here. No, maybe there is. We seem to have been able to hear these bells for quite a while. And it's, uh, it's mildly irritating. Yeah, the, uh, the the church bells are getting quite annoying. Oh, we're, we're out of earshot now. They, they sound further away. Whoops. Come on. There we go. Well, I don't feel like I can hear them as much. I was a little bit worried that they were going to follow us for the rest of the video. Streatham Hill, Telford Avenue. Oh, we have a timing point here. Why is this... Ah, it's because of the contravision. I thought that we had no glass in this window. 
and that that was the glass, but it turns out that's his jacket. We, we do have glass in this window. We can't open the... Can we open the windows? There we go. I know they complained that the temperature was cold, uh, but we're still going to open the windows because then they'll moan when the temperature gets too hot. So we'll, we'll just crack a window on each side there. One downstairs. Can we do one downstairs here as well? No, there isn't any on this side. Well, that's not to worry. Oh, I wonder if it's like the, the master bus where you can smash the windows. No. Well, that's disappointing. I'm not used to being early. feel very, uh, very self-conscious at the fact that I'm early. More to the point, I'm worried I've cocked up. I haven't. I'm just very, uh, you know, normally on these videos, we run late. That's just what we do. Well, it is just what we do, isn't it? Every video so far, I've been at least eight minutes late. Nah, th there's a couple where I've been very late. Some of them I've run on time, but I've almost never been early. Right. Let's get going. And, uh, and hope we drive away from those infernal bells. So we turn right here, that's good. Well, we'll, we'll just go around the Mercedes. Thank you. Oh, you watch, I bet this is one of them junctions where they take forever to turn right. It's always the way. That's just standard OMSI traffic, unfortunately. No, well, maybe not. Maybe quite pleasantly surprised. Oh, I'm sorry, we've, we've oh committed gosh. there. Again, yeah, you, you've committed a traffic offence. But we've committed to going through those lights. No, oh, you're not liking this corner, are you? Oh no, we can hear some more bells, just as we've lost that bell. Oh, there we go. Yeah, I, I was a little bit worried that we were just going to hear the chiming of the bells for the rest of the video. Well, do you know what? Given we're a little bit early, we'll just take it steady then. We'll just be chilled out. You know, no rush, no need to floor it. We'll just have a nice chilled out tour of London. Lambeth North Station. Yeah, there's, uh, there's a lot of weddings going on in London, isn't there? To say it's, uh, well, number one, COVID-19 restrictions. And, uh, yeah, quarter past six, 18.15 on, on a Monday. That's a lot of people getting married. A lot of wedding bells chiming there. Unless they, they could be Christmas services, I guess, couldn't they? That would be nice. It's, again, mildly irritating, but uh, that we can't drive anywhere without the chiming of bells. Fifty-nine, two, Streatham Hill, Telford Avenue. Oh, can we uh, do I dare? Nope, I'm indicating out, but he's not for letting me out, is he? Well, you can only ask. Kennington Road, Imperial War Museum. Oh, I know where that is. That's near Waterloo. I mean, I was just looking at the route map then. According to the route map, we've gone past Waterloo. Now, I wouldn't have said we did, because I don't remember. I don't remember. I mean, when it said Lambeth North, I looked on the route map and was like, oh, yeah, yeah. But supposedly we've gone past Waterloo. I have no recollection of that driving this bus. There was no, like, telltale signs of Waterloo, was there? Again, this is someone who doesn't really know London that much, so... Waterloo to me is going under the bridge. You know, because there is, isn't there? Waterloo Station, there's a railway bridge over the top. Hello again, driver. Hope you're having a good time. Aw, oh, ta love. Better not call them love. Hell, call a southerner love. Get all, uh, 
got all twitchy and uh, and freaked out. Hello, fellow 159 driver. Uh, I'm not on the 159, so I don't know why I said that. The 59. We are a, a hundred less as good. We are a hundred worse than the 159. However, that's good because I do actually know where we are now. You know, from driving this route, well, driving a mixture of the routes, because this route now, now we've joined up with the 159. I mean, I, yeah, it, it says it on the bus stop. Hey, Too busy looking at uh, looking at above the bus stop there. Yeah, so if you look at the route map, I mean, I don't have access to a route map to show you, but now it's we, we all come together. There's loads of bus routes that come down this road that you can drive on, obviously. And uh, they all go through Brixton, and then we carry on down with a lot of the other routes that have gone through Brixton down to Stretton. So, I mean, now that we're on this route, I absolutely do not feel confident enough uh, to drive it without the directions. No siree, no thank you. Nope. But, uh, but I do kind of ha have a bit more of a... And about me, you know, I kind of have a bit more familiarity with the area. Oh, that's uh, that's a Route 3, if I'm not much mistaken. And, uh, yeah, we're, uh, we're not going round it, because traffic isn't going to let me, is it? Oh, no, he's, uh, he's moving forward. Fair dues, well, we won't go round it, then. Sorry, it's just the lack of indicating. I didn't know what he was doing. 59. Is this a timing point? Uh, goodness only knows. I mean, that one is, so I imagine this is as well. Yeah, timing point. Right, well, we'll... Uh, God, 1.1 minute as well. Well, we'll just skip ahead a minute. I mean, you guys don't want to be sat just watching, waiting for things to happen, do you? Not to be seeing the action of moving buses driving through London. Windmill Row. Windmill Row. Yet not a windmill in sight. Should uh, we could complain, you know, for uh, false advertising? Oh, not paying attention. There we go. Traffic lights. Come on, focus. Focus. Thank you. Oh, and we get to go in the uh, the lovely bus lane. I don't know why, I just feel so much more at ease in the bus lane. See, I, I didn't... I feel like I heard a stop bell. No, you imagine that. God, I'm going insane. I thought I heard a stopping bell and everything. And the fact that that woman in the yellow blouse was stood by the door. So as it turns out, this bus will stop on its own if you uh, if you take your foot off the... Only when you get going very, very slow does it stop slowing down. I feel like you're just going to go across in front of me. Oh no, you're not. Okay, I'll let you off. Oh, that's the, uh, that's the poppy one. Hello! Never get tired of that horn. You guys probably get tired of hearing it, but I never tire of that horn. Can we all go right? Yes, we can. I feel like we can. It kind of looks like a road where you can't turn left, to be honest with you. Yeah, there's no way you can get left, is there? So my bus lane must be to go right. There we go. Oh, my God. oh give over, whinging. It's called a corner. We have to go round them or we end up in the sea. Hmm. 
Now that definitely was a stopping bell. Oh, a green light. And red lights as well. They're not confusing in the slightest, are they? Let's, uh, let's just be a bit careful around that corner. Oh, look at that. That was just perfect, wasn't it? You don't get many more corners, you know, better than that. And I didn't even look in the mirrors either, which, uh, you know, on your, on your driving test, you probably failed for, but the fact that the mirrors were not required, to me, suggests a level of expertise. You know, I, I don't need my mirrors. I am just, I am one with my vehicle. T89. I mean, I, I, I'm now aware that all the London fleet numbers do actually mean something. So, you know, if we, if we look on the top of this LT, London Transport, that's just what the route masters all got, the new route masters. The T89 probably means Trident 89, because it's on a Dennis Trident chassis. Probably. I imagine it does. You know, you get Volvo chassis that are V. VH for Volvo Hybrid, Volvo Right Hybrid, you know, it, uh, I didn't realise that they actually meant something, but, you know, it's useful to know that they do. Off you get, thank you. 59, two, oh, you guys are walking down, that's good of you. Has he turned his engine off? That's not good. Well, we might have to go round him. You're not getting on, fella? Nope. Right, okay. Well, yeah, we're definitely going to have to go round him. Fancy just stopping and turning your engine off. What does he think it is? A timing point? Right, let's, uh, yeah, we'll, we'll just pull out there. Nicely. Slowly does it. Slowly, slowly. There we go. Road. We're not in Brixton yet, are we? We've we've not done Brixton. Uh, it's a good job the speed cameras don't work, isn't it? Oh, there we go. Right, the next bus stop is closed. Now, I know how to work this now. Where are we? Uh, information. Nine, two, next stop Stephen closed. Hill, Telford, uh, the next bus stop is closed. There we go. Done my bit now. Told them. more than you get up north if your bus stops close. Right, Hang on, what's happening here? Why are you? Oh yeah, taxis are allowed to go in the bus lane, aren't they? Yeah, this was clarified to me in one of the last videos. But it is still a bus lane, which means I should have priority. In the world of Joe, that's what would happen. Yeah, you can always tell when you get to Brixton, because the frame rates drop through the floor. Come on, green light. Off we pop. There we go, so we are not to stop here. Uh, the driver has been instructed to wait at this bus stop for a short time to help even out the Loughborough Road. To help even out the Loughborough Road. Well, wow, that wasn't expecting that one. Uh, no, the uh, I was going to click about the uh, making sure that they knew the bus stop was closed, but then I accidentally clicked off the menu. And while driving along, I didn't think it would be appropriate to. Uh, let's have a look. Can we? There we go. The next bus stop is closed. It's it's not. The next one's probably open, guys. But given that I didn't do it for the last bus stop, I thought I'd just do it 
you know, so you've had the message, albeit not at the right time, but you've had the message, and that's all that matters. Ah, yeah. Good job collisions are turned off, isn't it? Because this is a tight one. I mean, I fully imagine that I'll handle it like a, a professional. Come on, don't stop at this bit. This is the bit we need you to keep going for. Go, what do you think? You're driving a bus. Took that corner wide. Nearly at the bollards. Right, well, they'd like to get off here. Fifty nine to Streatham Hill, Telford Avenue. Right, well, it specifically does say no waiting here, so we shall not wait. I mean, I quite like this bus to drive, I think it's brilliant. I, you know, and I like the fact that it's nice and nippy, probably with it having, uh, you know, a hybrid drive. It is nice to drive, I think it's been very well done. But the fact of the matter is that just without that diesel engine, I also think as well the uh, Villa Road, the City Bus 400 and the City Bus 200. I think their frame rates aren't as, you know, affected as badly as the Evo Seti and the uh, the new Routemaster. I think that when you're driving one of these, your frame rates are less. Probably just because the models re require more, you know, computers to have to think a bit more. One thing that I did do. Are we are we getting on, guys? Yeah. Nope. Okie dokie. Well, don't say I didn't stop. No, sorry, you're too late now. What was I going to say? Oh yeah, I drove the ALX 400, and I would absolutely love to do uh, do an ALX 400 video. In fact, it was on this route we drove a uh, like an X First London one, and it looked fantastic. Brixton Academy. It looked absolutely fantastic, I'm not going to lie, the, the red on the ALX. The ALX is just a, you know, it's a, it's an icon for London, isn't it, really? I mean, there was one point, like, the new Routemasters are just everywhere, like a disease now. That was the ALX 400s at one point. And, uh, obviously that bus doesn't have as much detailing in it, because it just ran like a dream on, uh, on, on Adam London. Hang on, what's happening? Are we, are we at a timing point? That's not good. But we, we can't leave because we're two minutes early. We'll get uh, we'll get chastised if we're more than two minutes early. There we go. We can leave now. One point nine minutes early. I mean, we're going to get stuck in the roadworks anyway, aren't we? And we said earlier there's a bus every five minutes, so they can just wait another five minutes. And if the next one's a couple of minutes early, they won't have that long to wait, will they, so... Brixton Station. A light here for National Rail and local bus services. Oh, no, you're, uh, you're not letting me in now, you're not Mr. Taxi. Well, that's quite rude, isn't it? Yeah, the traffic around Brixton is uh, just unbelievable, isn't it? Are these roadworks always here? It's not a fantastic advert for Brixton, I'm not going to lie. the building. Well, it must be something exciting. They can't just be, you know, all these roadworks, they can't just be resurfacing the road. This is like full on, you know, building something amazing. Oh, right, off we go. I don't remember turning down the... Uh, I don't know if there has been a patch. I don't think there has been a patch, to be honest with you. But uh, Monday the 21st, at the time of recording, I don't believe that there has been a patch. 
But I don't seem to get as many emergency vehicles. Maybe it's because it's night time. They don't spawn as much. Or maybe it's because I've turned down the traffic that you get. Because I have turned down the amount of vehicles that will spawn. But we don't seem to have as much. Because I know that the cars run red lights to let the emergency vehicles through. Which is, in principle, a good idea. But when you have the vehicles turned right up. In pra oh, listen to that straight nice Volvo engine going avenue. past and uh, straight into the back of that bus. Good lord, what's happening there? Well, thank heavens for lack of collisions, eh? Right, where do we need to go here? Uh, 59, 59. We are not on the screen. Have I gone the wrong way here? Hang on a second, What what's happened? 159? Where am I? Hmm. It's a worry. It is a worry. I mean, I'm gonna go with with going this way. Let's, uh, let's have a look. Oh, there we go, 59. Oh, said there was no emergency vehicles, but uh, but there there is. Right, yeah, straight on. Uh, you you need to workshop that one, developers. No, uh, at Brixton. Brixton stop P. No 59 sign for going straight on. So uh, you know, make it happen. Right, so we need to go for the A23. We don't want people turning across us, so we will pull out of the bus lane because we're responsible like that. You see. Because otherwise, these people will be going left and uh, we'll be crashing into them. There we go. So uh, this is, and I don't want to jinx it here, you know, I don't want to... Uh... Ah, there we go, you see. It's a good job I moved into this lane, wasn't it? Almost like I've driven this route before. Well, if you're such an expert on this route, you wouldn't have needed to, uh, you know, the fact that the direction arrows weren't there. Well, yeah, I was just pointing it out for your benefit. Uh, what was I going to say then? I was going to come out with something insightful and brilliant, and uh, it didn't happen. Oh yeah, we're, we're coming to the other side of Brixton now, so frame rate should be a little bit better. They should improve gradually. Is, uh, oh, there's another road traffic collision. Oh, and another one as the Ford just sideswiped the Prius. Just seems to be a regular thing. I mean, they can't have nice cars, can they, round here? Because everyone just smashes them up all the time. And nobody seems remotely bothered. You know, there's, there's two people there that have just been smashed into. The bus was smashed into earlier by the Evo Seti. No, just nobody's Two. bothered. So, yeah, well, it, you know, regular occurrence here. God, can you imagine? Straight through. Wait. Almost like it knew we were coming. We don't need to accelerate that fast, to be honest with you, because, uh, you know, we are early. Fifty-nine, two. Come on, off you Second get. Avenue. We've got no, uh, we've got no CCTV at the bottom of, you know, looking at the doors. So that's a shame. Oh well, never mind, we'll live. We'll just work by guessing. Perfectly uh, acceptable way to work, isn't it? Yeah, just guess that there's nobody caught in the doors. Uh, we're not going to be irresponsible and uh, drag race the Ford, because we're not going to win. Blenheim Gardens. But we are going to just sneak in front of this car here. few more roadworks. I mean, you'd think that the way they were carrying on it was April and they were, uh, you know, or the end of March. March is, the end of March is when the budget changes, isn't it? New financial year. 
found that around March time there's lots of roadworks that appear because they're just trying to spend some of the budget. Streatham Hill, Telford Avenue. We'll creep up to the traffic lights in the hope that we can uh, and we're not going to be able to. Yeah. That was a bit of an abrupt stop, wasn't it? Creep up to the traffic lights in the hope that we can just, you know, it goes green. We can open up the throttle and fly past them all. Jeb Avenue, Brixton Prison. Oh, Brixton Prison and Jeb Avenue. That sounds like uh, that sounds like just the sort of place you want to visit, doesn't it? I don't know, it could be very nice. But to my knowledge, uh, I've, you know, that's not really a desirable area to live, is it, next to... Uh, oh, but at least they're friendly, you know, she said hi. Can't really ask for more, can you? But yeah, I've, I've never really known the aristocracy to be, oh, yeah, yeah, yes, well, well, where we want to live is next to the prison. That, that's exactly where we want to live. Yeah, it's, it's not really how it works, is it? They, you know, they're like countryside and wide open spaces, not prisons. New Park Road. Well, admittedly, I know it keeps having a few little blips, doesn't it? Uh, no, all just running the red light. That can only mean that there's a uh, an emergency services vehicle not far behind. Or maybe not. I mean, just looking in the mirror to the right there. Just car after car after car. There's no way that they can all know about a police car three miles back. There we go. Oh, and you, at least that Mini's responsible. See, Mini drivers obeying the law, keeping uh, keeping Britain nice and law-abiding. Fifty-nine, two, Oh well, there was an emergency services vehicle. Two. Police and fire. Homewood Road. You see, I do like what they've tried to do. I really do like what they've tried to do. I, you know, I can't. There's nothing more irritating than on Bodenham or, you know, the original OMSI 2 maps where the police cars would just sit behind. Uh, you, you know, they just sit behind all the AI traffic, and you know, you'd be absolutely so irritated. But perhaps it could be executed a little bit better. The idea is brilliant. The execution, it's not dreadful. It just, you know, you sometimes end up with cars flying out in front of you when they perhaps shouldn't be. I could live. With, I think what I'm trying to say is, I could live without that feature. I could live without the emergency services feature in OMSI because I mean realistically when you're driving along I mean in, in the last two weeks I know it's not a city but in the last two weeks driving from my house to work and back more or less every day at no point have I been overtaken by an emergency services vehicle Straight so here, for me I could live without the feature because realistically the amount of times that it would happen are probably somewhat minimal you know what I mean I know what I'm trying to say whether you whether you agree, whether you don't agree. I mean, it depends where you live, doesn't it? I live in the middle of nowhere, up north. If you live in London, you might be turning around and saying, oh, well, actually, we get overtaken a lot by police cars because there's always someone breaking into someone else's house in London. Or there's always someone's house on fire, or there's always someone that's trapped the hand in the toaster and has to call an ambulance. You know, the, so maybe in the big city, it is different. But for me... I could cope without the uh, the emergency services vehicles. 
maybe some static ones pulled, you know, like a, one of the passengers just lying in the middle of the road in a pool of blood. And a dented VW Polo, who's obviously run them over. And the car at the side. Sorry, this is a bit graphic now, isn't it? You can tell I've thought this through. Oh, so Streatham Hill, so we are approaching the end of the route. I mean, last time I did it, we went into a bus garage. But that was because the route was finishing. Ah, there we go, Brixton bus garage. Two. Streatham Hill, Telford Avenue. Oh, there we go. Everybody off. Terminus, I think. Maybe. Yeah, it sounds like. Telford there we go. Avenue. Telford Avenue. Hello Here we go. Set down only. Ah, there we go. That That is the uh, the last stop on the route. Off you get, everybody. Thank you for coming. Yeah, it's been really nice to have you here. Yeah, well, hope you've enjoyed the ride. Thank you. Cheerio. That girl upstairs obviously had her earphones in, didn't realise we were here. There we go. A little bit of lag. I was worried it had frozen. Right, well, everyone's off. And into Brixton Bus Garage we go. So we just kind of whiz into the... I mean, I'm assuming that Brixton Bus Garage is an Arriva garage. I'd feel a bit weird if I was like an Abellio bus driver just driving in the Arriva garage because they'd all be, you know, everyone would be looking at you like, oh, you're, oh God, it's one of those Bumble buses again. In fact, it could even be the same one. There we go. Right, we'll, we'll cross off the timetable analysis. I could have parked better than that, but nobody needs to come past. Well, there we go. The 59 from uh, Oldwich down to Streatham. I really hope you've enjoyed it. Let's, uh, while I'm talking, let's try and park a bit better. There we go. That's as good as you're getting. I really hope you've enjoyed the video today. I've quite enjoyed that drive, I'm not going to lie. Let's flick round when it's not lagging to something you might actually want to look at. There we go, we'll, we'll cross those off so it looks even better. Sensational. Yeah, I hope you've enjoyed the video. I enjoyed driving this route. Sling a like at it, like I said at the start of the video, uh, because it helps immeasurably. Make sure that you subscribe so that you never miss out on any of your favourite OMSI 2 action. And like I say, if you do fancy giving me a Christmas gift in the link in the link in the bottom in the description there is a link to my paypal to do that however much or little you feel even if you gave none you know i'm just i'm just grateful for anything um you know I, you guys are what make all this happen so yeah until next time uh yeah see you later goodbye for now